The year 2020 was a challenge for everyone, but especially for the big companies that had to adapt and change their way of working. Even though the big public events that we were used to were canceled, Apple still managed to launch a long list of interesting products. Let's take a look at what new products they released in 2020. Before starting this video, don't forget to activate the subtitles and smash the like button. The beginning of 2020 came with the new iPad Pro models. Apple launched on March 18th the fourth generation of iPad Pro, which comes in two variants, 11-inch and 12.9-inch. The new generation is equipped with a faster processor, Bionic A12Z, comes with dual cameras in the back and a new LiDAR scanner for augmented reality. Also in March, Apple announced a new accessory for the iPad, Magic Keyboard. This is a fully illuminated keyboard and for the first time it comes with a trackpad. Apple says the keyboard offers a quiet and responsive typing experience thanks to the scissor mechanism with a key movement of one millimeter. The keyboard connection system is magnetic and the hinges allow you to change the viewing angle up to 130 degrees. Another important announcement made by Apple in March was about the new MacBook Air, which is very thin and very powerful. It has a 13.3-inch Retina display, is powered by an Intel Core i7 quad-core processor, and has the new Magic Keyboard. Apple's next product is the Mac Mini, an amazing desktop computer. It is equipped with 8th generation Intel processors with 4 or 6 core, has integrated Intel graphics, and is up to 60% faster and the memory is high-performance DDR4 at 2,666 MHz up to 64 GB. On the audio side, the Apple Beats brand unveiled the new Powerbeats headphones in March. These are almost identical to Powerbeats Pro in terms of functionality, but come in the wired version. In April, Apple announced the second-generation iPhone SE. As a design, this model is similar to the iPhone 8, but inside it has the hardware from the iPhone 11 range. We continue the series of Apple launches with a 13-inch MacBook Pro. The new model comes with a new keyboard, double storage space, faster memory, and faster performance. In June, Apple unveiled plans to move from Intel chips to its own Apple Silicon chips, starting in late 2020. So the full range of Macs will use the new Apple processors, and developers will be able to design applications for the new Macs based on the ARM architecture. Apple continues the series of releases with perhaps the most anticipated version of iOS. They announced that iOS 14 will be released in the fall of 2020, and brings many new improvements such as home screen redesign with widgets, no full screen calls, new app library, and pinned conversations in messages. Another novelty from Apple is the biggest design update for Mac OS. We are talking here about Mac OS Big Sur, which was scheduled for launch in late 2020. The new operating system comes with major changes from the look of the windows to the colors and icons. There are also some changes for the iPad OS. The new version is similar to the one on the iPhone. It comes with the redesign of the interfaces for Siri, the incoming calls, the design for widgets, and the updating of the Maps application. Apple has also brought an update for watchOS, so watchOS 7 comes with new features. And among the most important is sleep monitoring, and to wake users, Apple Watch will vibrate haptically or have discrete sounds. Also another interesting and useful function in this time of pandemic is the one that will detect the hand washing movement and will have a timer of 20 seconds. Along with these, the new versions of the operating system for Apple TV, tvOS 14, was presented. It comes with some new features, namely picture-in-picture -picture mode, 4K video playback on YouTube, multi-user game support, and AirPods audio sharing. In August, Apple updated the 21.5-inch and 27-inch iMac models. The latter has been updated with new 10th generation Intel processors, True Tone display, has a 1080p camera, and a studio-quality microphone. For the 21.5-inch model, Apple opted for a 256GB SSD. For smartwatch enthusiasts, Apple has announced the new watch models, Apple Watch Series 6 and Apple Watch SE. The first has a design identical to the 5 Series but comes with new functions on the health monitoring side and has a new sensor for monitoring blood oxygen. The other model, the Apple Watch SE, has a Series 5 heart rate monitor and sensor, and the other components are from the Series 6. 
The new iPad Air was also on Apple's list. It is equipped with Apple's new processor, the A14 Bionic, developed by 5 nanometer, which boasts higher performance compared to other models. It also comes with USB Type-C and fingerprint reader integrated in the start button. Apple ended its September launches with a new iPad. It is the 8th generation of low-cost iPad, which comes equipped with an upgraded A12 Bionic processor with Neural Engine. Its price starts at $329 US. October was perhaps the most anticipated month for 2020 Apple fans. That's because Apple has revealed the release date for the new iPhones. So, the four models, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro, iPhone 12 Mini, and iPhone 12 Pro Max are equipped with OLED screens and 5G antennas, high-performance cameras, A14 Bionic processor, and the differences between standard and Pro models are multiple. Also, a new smart speaker was announced, more compact and with a more affordable price. Apple HomePod Mini comes with a full-range dynamic driver and will be able to play music noisily. With its help, you can control smart home devices via voice command, send voice messages, or connect multiple HomePod mini speakers. Apple MagSafe was launched with new iPhones and is a special connector based on magnets. It attaches to the back of the iPhone 12 with magnets and also fast wireless charging at 15 watts. In November, Apple unveiled their first processor, the Apple M1, a 5 nanometer CPU. Its inauguration took place on the new MacBook Air 2020, which retains approximately the same design as its predecessor, comes with an autonomy of 18 hours, and offers a performance up to 3.5 times higher. Also, the new Apple processor can be found on the MacBook Pro 2020 and the Mac Mini. The gift month brings the new AirPods Max over-ear headphones from Apple. These are some of the most expensive ANC headphones on the market. They have anodized aluminum construction on the exterior, metal arms, and at the top they have a textile surface. The new AirPods Max are made around 40mm speakers and use a unique design with two neodymium magnets. And because Apple is paying attention to the needs of users, it has launched a new service, Apple Fitness Plus, which helps Apple Watch owners to do sports through a series of guided workouts. These were Apple's main launches in 2020. Let's see what 2021 has in store for us in terms of Apple products. Stay tuned, we will soon make a video with the products that Apple has waiting for us this year.